Here's a quick guide to using the clone brush tool in Affinity Photo. So, here's a field full of poppies, and I want to add a few more poppies to this scene by using the clone brush tool. So I can locate the tool on the toolbar on the left here. I'll just click to select it. And the way this tool works is that we have to set a source point to clone from. So I'm going to zoom in, and let's pick this particular poppy. So I can Alt or Option click, just a single click, to set the source point, you'll see a tiny little black crosshair. Then when I release the Alt or Option key, you'll see as I scroll around on the canvas here, I get a real-time preview of what I'm about to clone. So I could just clone in like this, but before I do, I'm going to reduce the brush hardness to 0% for a nice soft edged brush. Okay, and then I can just click drag to clone in that poppy. Let's do the same with another poppy over here perhaps. Again, Alt or Option click to set the source point, then click drag to clone. Okay, now we can also clone non-destructively. And to do that, we need to move across to the Layers panel and above the background pixel layer, we need to create a new blank pixel layer. And on the context toolbar here, you'll see we have current layer. If we set that to current layer and below, that means we can now sample from the layer underneath, which is the background pixel layer. So let's just move over here and pick another poppy. Okay, let's pick this one and I'll just paint it in, or clone it in rather, over here. But notice that that cloned result has now been put on that blank pixel layer. So if I hide that pixel layer, you'll see I haven't actually changed the image content of the original background pixel layer. So this is great if you're doing some cloning. For example, let's take this large poppy again and clone it over here. And let's say we've cloned too much and you can see the background coming through here. So you can either mask this new pixel layer or you can just grab the erase brush, take the hardness down, just reduce the brush width using the left bracket key on the keyboard and just remove those areas like so. But because we've done that on a separate pixel layer, we can do that all without affecting the original image. Now, just a, a couple of options to point out to you as well is that we have brush rotation here, so you can rotate the brush result, and also we can flip horizontally, vertically, or both. So if you were retouching creatively and you needed some variety, for example, let's just sample off this poppy here, you could flip it, horizontally for a slightly different result, like so. And there we go, just a very quick look at the clone brush tool and how to achieve non-destructive cloning.